So uh, it, it's made the news uh, that Uganda, uh, Uganda is in Africa, if, if you were wondering, a uh, country in Africa, uh, former British colony, I guess, um, has just passed some of the most uh, extreme anti-gay uh, laws um, probably in the world right now, although you, much of the world has significant anti-gay laws. Uh, uh, certainly Russia and, and much of Africa. Um, so uh, this is a law that's created a lot of, uh, a, a lot of angst, of course, uh, in, the, in the Western world, which has a very tolerant view of LGBTQ. Uh, in Africa, it, you know, uh, uh, gay sex is still criminalized in most of Africa. Not all of Africa, the number of countries, South Africa, for example. South Africa, for example, is legalized uh, legalized gay marriage. Um, there are a number of countries in the uh, African region um, that have um, that uh, basically have legalized the the uh, homosexual act or decriminalized it. Angola, Botswana, Mozambique, Lesotho, and Seychelles have decriminalized same-sex relationships just in the last decade. And generally, young people in Africa. Um, a, a far more, um, uh, you know, far more uh, uh, pro-gay is not the right terminology, but far more accepting of, of, uh, of gay and gay sex than are others. Uh, Uganda passed a, a, a pretty, a, a pretty uh, significant, uh, you know, a, a restrictive law. A gay sex is banned and could result in, in significant jail sentences if caught, what they call aggregated homosexuality. Uh, aggravated homosexuality um, uh, is uh, is both uh, uh, you know this applies to uh, to um, uh, rape a homosexual rape it applies to uh, homosexual relationships with uh, with uh, a child it applies also to uh, ha having homosexual sex um, where among consenting adults where one of them has HIV. Um, uh, uh, aggravated homosexuality has a the death sentence. The death sentence. Um, somebody who knowingly promotes homosexuality, not clear what promotes even means, could spend twenty years in jail. You can imagine what actually being caught having homosexual sex uh, involves decades in jail. Um, organizations convicted of encouraging it could receive a ten-year ban. Currently, there are 22 nonprofits in Uganda that are uh, under investigation for allegedly promoting homosexuality in the country. You can imagine how the government defines promoting homosexuality. Uh, and uh, so, you know, this has obviously come under attack from much of the West. The, uh, it turns out that the United States actually sends about $1 billion annually for various programs in Uganda. Did you know that, that our foreign aid goes a billion dollars, a billion dollars? Um, and uh, and uh, the Biden administration is threatening to withhold that billion dollars. I think they should permanently stop providing a billion dollars to Uganda and maybe stop all this foreign aid stuff anyway. You, you, you're promoting all kinds of horrible, horrific things. Uh, Uganda and many African countries have very, very intolerant cultures uh, to uh, homosexuality. It is, uh, you know, people are beaten, people are killed, uh, people are treated just horrifically uh, for being homosexuals. It is truly, uh, truly a travesty. And the fact that the United States supports this is, yeah, horrible. Um, so yes, withdraw their billion dollars, absolutely. Uh, you, for those of you who say, well, aggravated, this aggravated homosexuality, you know, rape, so what? So they got a death penalty for rape, big deal. Um, of course, rape, raping a woman doesn't carry that kind of sentence, anywhere near that kind of sentence. Rape uh, of women is very, very common in Uganda. Uh, almost, a th almost a quarter of all women report that their first sexual encounter in Uganda was, I think it was 40% of women, uh, was um, uh, by rape. Uh, women, uh, you know, women generally sexual assault, sexual crimes against women uh, are not particularly prosecuted, particularly uh, uh, hard. There, there are new laws on the books that are more stringent about prosecuting r rape of women and girls. Um, but when it actually comes to court, 
it is rare that these things are actually prosecuted. So clearly, these laws, e- even if you think, yeah, rape, that's a bad thing. Well, rape is a bad thing no matter whom you rape, no matter what sex the person you rape is. Um, so this is a bill, basically, that's a anti-gay, anti-homosexuality. It's, 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 it's a bill that is trying to dictate what you do with your sex, what you do in the, in the privacy of your bedroom. It is a disgrace. It is disgusting. It is horrific. Uh, this is kind of evil stuff that's just horrible. And, of course, um, part of their energy comes from, um, you know, attacking the left. So uh, part of the energy comes from, oh, we've seen what uh, gay cultures look like. Look at America and look at Europe. Uh, we, know, we don't want to be like them. You know, we, we, we hate the, the LGBTQ+. Plus. Look at, you know, the kind of Putin... Um, and, and why the right likes Putin so much is, is all the, the kind of language he uses attacking homosexuality and attacking, uh, and, and it just feeds into, oh, well, we kind of like Uganda because they're anti-woke. This is good. Uh, this is prevalent all over the world. It, 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 somebody says even China has some of that. Yeah, even China has it, although this is one of the worst. The, the, having the death penalty uh, is one of the worst. Um, Horrible uh, in, in the news, and, um, you know, this is where you have to side, I think, uh, wholeheartedly with uh, those people advocating for, for gay rights, uh, LGBTQ rights uh, against authoritarian, horrific regimes like this that want to, uh, that want to uh, uh, criminalize uh, private human activity that affects nobody other than the people participating. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making an appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.